Hello everyone. Welcome to another Monday movie. I'm Mr. Blue Summers. So this week I had a viewer email me and ask how he can use the mental ray sun and sky objects in 3D Studio Max 7. Now that's kind of unfortunate because it wasn't as refined back then if it was in Max 7 at all. So instead what I instructed this viewer to do is to replicate the sun and sky objects the way that we used to back in the dark ages. So I'm going to show you that technique today. How we can replicate sun and sky in 3D Studio Max without using the sun and sky system objects. So let's get started. I'm going to start off by applying a gray material to all of the objects in the scene and make sure that it's two-sided. It's going to keep things nice and simple. And what you have to do in order to separate sun and sky is think of them as two different lights. I'm going to use ordinary standard lights, non-mental ray. First I'm going to create a skylight anywhere in the scene and I'm going to tone that down to a 0.5 intensity multiplier. And then I'm going to turn on cast shadows and just select 15 rays per sample and that's going to keep things nice and fast for us. Now that I have the sky, I need the sunlight. I'm going to select a direct target light and I'm just going to click drag, create my sunlight, pick a nice downward angle, something very appealing, say about here. Actually, we could even have that cast a little bit of a shadow right there. That's perfect. And then we need to make this light a little more like sunlight. So I'm going to turn on shadows, and I'm going to select ray traced shadows. Now, for those of you who are super particular, this isn't really going to replicate sunlight because we're not going to get those nice area shadows, but it's an approximation. I'm going to select kind of an orangish yellow color, let's say about here. Click OK. And then I'm going to select Overshoot in the directional parameters, and that'll make sure that the sunlight comes down from this direction, not just within the, the light hotspot, but everywhere. And uh, that's all the changes we need to make. So let's zoom in and take a render, see what we got. And there you have it. That's how we used to replicate the sun and sky in 3D Studio Max before we had the sun and sky system objects. Thanks for tuning in to another Monday movie. You can find all of my Monday movies as well as tutorials, resources, and downloads at my website, www.mrbluesummers.com.